Welcome back everybody, Silas here today. We're off on another adventure. Today's adventure, we're gonna do a junkyard treasure hunt. It's been quite a while. I've got a whole row of cars right here. I've been working at the other yard. I've been working here, working there, working everywhere. I've even been working here a little bit, but I've been working inside the yard crushing cars. But I, I've got a whole row of cars down the road right here. So I figured, you know what? It's pretty nice out right now. It's not too hot. It's a perfect opportunity to go dig through some cars, see if we can find some treasure. We're just gonna start right here with this Ford van. I already looked at the Chevy truck that just came in a couple days ago and there was nothing good in there. But I've got this van, this car, and I've got a whole row of cars all the way down. And I haven't looked through them. I have no clue what's in them. So we're going to find out together. You just never know what you're going to find in these cars. And they've got a, a full on trash can in the middle of their car here. I think they need to empty it a little bit more often. Yeah, it's just trash. I'm not even going to dig in that. You always got to check everywhere. You got to check all these little cubby holes. You got to check every little thing. Now on these cars, I'm not going to show every single place that I look on every single car because that would get really boring, but I do check every spot. I check the visors. I check in the glove boxes. I check the center glove boxes, the center consoles. If there's an owner's manual, I flip through the owner's manual. I really do look at the cars pretty good. I look under the seats, I look in the door panels, but like I say, I don't show everything I do. Seems like every time I post one of these videos, somebody's like, well, why didn't you look under the seats of that car? Well, I did look under the seats of that car and there was nothing there. You gotta check the backs of the seats. I really don't see anything in here. It looks like they cleaned it out pretty good. The passenger door was locked. I'm gonna see if the uh, driver's doors were unlocked. Now this car's completely locked up. We're gonna have to bust a window out to get in this one. Just like that. Now we can unlock it. And everybody says, oh no, now there's glass everywhere and you've got to sit in the glass. And you know what? Doesn't really matter to me. I've been doing this for my whole life. I halfway know what I'm doing. And I've only got probably about two dozen scars. What's this? Anything good? No, nothing good. You know, we're not doing very good today. We're striking out over and over again. Oh, this is a high-end car back in the day. Oh, there's a little bit of money. What do we got? What is that, 15, 16 cents? Of course, there's no power, so I can't get it out of there, but this had a CD changer here in the center console. I remember I had an 05 Nissan Altima that had a CD changer in the dash. It could, it could do like five discs, and I thought I was hot stuff back in the day. <laughs> Looks like there might be something over there by that door, so I'm gonna unlock the door and go around to the other side. What do we got here? I don't know what that is. Half the battle of doing these videos is trying to film with one hand and open boxes with the other hand. There we go, hold the camera between my knees. Of course I forgot to bring the GoPro today, there we go. Oh, all that work and it's empty anyway. Bummer. Here's something that looks interesting. What do we got here? A couple more micro USB cord cords. Man, I can't even talk today. What is this? Uh, some sort of... Oh, I see what this is. This is like a... So you could have multiple things plugged in at once. I don't have any use for that. But I am going to save these cords. There we go. This was on the floor. What does it say? Let's see here. Step one. Oh, a bunch of <laughs> seasoned chicken pieces with salt. Cook over high heat until golden brown, about three minutes per side. So we got a recipe for something here. Spicy chicken curry. They really wrote out some detailed instructions right there. I dumped out that Burger King bag, and this was in there. This is actually a Simply Safe camera, and as long as it isn't locked to their system, I can actually use that at my house because I have Simply Safe. So I want to take that home with me. Let's see here. Does this is this a winner? Winning numbers, eight, seven, 12. We got any eight, sevens, or 12s? No, we do not. I don't know why that was in the bag. Unless all the stuff in that bag was trash and that camera's no good and that's why it was in the bag. Nothing, nothing, nothing. I guess we'll pop out the back seat, see if there's anything there. Well, I unlocked the door. I guess I'll have to go around the other side. This door doesn't want to open. Maybe it'll open from the inside. There we go. Outside handle must be broken. Oh, there's some shoes. Are they my size? Size seven. You guys think I look good in those? They're a little bit too small for me. Joking, of course. Okay, 
I'm gonna have to put the camera down for just a second so I can pop this seat out. Got it popped loose, let's see what's under here. Actually, you know what, I'm just gonna take this all the way out, get it out of the way, I'll throw it back in in a minute. Oh, I see some money, we got a penny, another penny. Oh, here's a nickel, man, that's an old nickel. What year is that? Can't get the camera to focus, there we go, 1964. I guess it's not as old as I thought it was. It looked a lot older than that. But let's see what else we got in here. We got a quarter, and three more pennies. And a chain. There we go. I don't know if it's anything good. Probably not. Rip this up. Oh, we got a bunch of money down here. I see a bunch of quarters over there. Nickels, dimes, pennies. You name it. Oh, we got an AirPod. The only issue is, is evidently, they had some food down here too. And it's clear full of little mealworm maggot things. And I don't know if I really want to mess with that. There we go. I got it out of there. I just flicked it out of there. Grabbed it up. There was a few pennies that were pretty nasty. I just left those behind. The uh, bank won't cash dirty money anymore. You used to be able to just take it all in there and they'd dump it in the machine, but now if you go in there and you have really nasty pennies or something like that mixed in with them, they won't even try to run it through the machine. And check this side. Anything good over here? Looks like some more quarters, some more dimes, and more pennies. So here's all the finds out of the second car we went through. Obviously the first car didn't have anything, but the second car had a chain, AirPod, uh, guitar pick, I found that when I was getting the last little bit of change out, and then there's about two dollars in change, three chords, and maybe a camera, a security camera, maybe not. I don't know if it works. I designated this truck as the place where I'm going to stash everything as I find it, so let's get back over there, keep going through some more cars. One thing I did forget to mention is if I don't have keys, I can't open the trunks. Like, I did not check the trunk on this car here, I will have to do that later, so definitely stay tuned to the end of the video. What I'm going to do for now is I'm just going to go through the inside of all these cars, and then later I'll come through here with the loader when I clean them back out and move them out of the road, and I'll rip the trunks open at that point in time, see if there's anything good in there. Hey guys, can you do me a favor real quick? If you haven't subscribed to this channel already, can you hit that subscribe button? Helps me out, helps you out, you get to see all the good content. Okay, that's all. Car number three. Let's see if there's anything good in here. I see stuff laying around, but it might just be trash. The floors look pretty clean. I don't see change everywhere, but you just never know. Oh, yep, there's a bunch of change in there. Looks like we got a bunch of pennies. And bonus, they're actually all clean. They're not all nasty. Get those in a second. What do we got over here? We got some CDs. Let me grab these and bring them over here where I can see them better. What are we listening to today? The bunny, the bear, food chain? I have no clue. Chelsea Grin, I think is what that says. Desolation of Eden. Huh. Some interesting stuff right there. I don't even know if the CDs are in them. Yeah, the CDs are in them, but uh, I have no clue what those are. They're just going to stay in the car. It's got an aftermarket radio in it. If that pops out easy, I'll save that. Let's see. Anything else good? Got an empty box. Or, no, that's not even empty. It's clear full of trash once again. Let's see if there's anything good in the glove box. Now right here, this is a good example. I have no clue what's in here. I'm going to have to turn the camera off as I go through this because I just don't know if there's any sensitive paperwork, personal paperwork. I don't want to show anybody's address or any bank account info, anything like that. I mean, I've found some crazy stuff in, in cars before. Okay, there was absolutely nothing good in all of that, but I do see it looks like a, a necklace in here. Yeah, so we got a little bit more jewelry, and I think that's it. This car did have a key. Some of these cars, let me back up real quick. Some of these cars are abandoned. They were vehicles that were left in people's yard. They were left on the street. I think this one here was one that was abandoned on the street. So they got towed into the impound yard. Nobody ever claimed them from the impound yard. And so they got hauled here for scrap. We buy them from the impound yards. A few of these cars we actually bought from people and we didn't have time to haul them. So we hired another tow company to haul them for us. And he has keys to this yard. So he just dumped them off in here. So I'm thinking this is one we bought from somebody. And so you'd think if we bought it from somebody there would be nothing good, but you just never know. Sometimes people just don't care. I'm not seeing anything good though. One time we bought a vehicle and it had the guy's diploma, his cap and gown, all sorts of stuff from high school. He had a bunch of other important paperwork in there, stuff I thought was important. And we called him up and he said, oh, I don't care about any of that stuff. Just leave it in the car and crush it. So uh, we did throw the key back in there. I've had people say I should save these key fobs and that they sell for money. But on an old vehicle like this, I mean, this thing is almost an antique nowadays. And that thing's there is in horrible condition. These don't bring any money. Now people say, oh, the core buyers buy them for cores. But stuff like that, they won't even buy. They only want real late model stuff. And so that's why I don't save the key fobs. I did have a guy one time say that he would buy all that I had if I would save them up for him and he would give me 50 cents a piece. But I just, I don't feel like messing with it, honestly. Let's see here. Ooh, what do we got here? Ooh, we got some Girl Scout cookies. Anybody hungry? There we go. Nice and melty with my filthy fingers. 
That's okay. I'm kidding. I would never actually do that. That's nasty. Why would you even think I was going to do that? Wipe the chocolate off my fingers. That was not pleasant. At least it was just chocolate. There we go. That seat popped up easy. Anything good in here? It's not looking like there is. Well, I take that back. There's a quarter right there. Looks like a dime. Or a nickel. Man, my eyes aren't doing very good. How did I think that was a dime? What do we got down here? It's an old cartridge. Is that a Game Boy Advance cartridge? Metroid. Huh. That's interesting. Probably not worth anything, but we'll hang on to it. Looks like another nickel right there and a penny. And maybe a nickel or a dime behind that penny. So we'll grab all that out of here and we'll look over everything we got out of this car. And here's the final count. We have the necklace. We'll put that over there with the other. We got all this money here. Uh, probably about 50 cents, I'm guessing. Maybe not quite that much. And then we got the old Metroid game. We'll put that over there for now. And then I also found this in the center console when I was getting the money out of there. Just an old tire cage. Car number four, we've got a V-Dub. Got a fancy dash pad in it. Let's see here. Oh, it looks like there might be some stuff in here. Uh, looks like just trap. Well, there might be something. I don't know what this is. I've never had stuff like this. I have no clue what that is exactly. Uh, what do we got here? Now, that might be good, except for it's all sticky, so we'll just leave that there. We've got a... What is this? A Pokemon card or something? I don't know what it is. That's what it looks like, but that's not what it looks like on the back, so I don't know what it is. Yeah, it looks like we have a gift card. Is there anything on it? Hey, hey, there's a dollar seventy-five left on this Wendy's card, so I know where I'm going for lunch. And while I was on my phone, I looked this up. This is worth about 15 bucks on eBay, so I guess we'll hang on to it. I popped open the glove box, and it, it, it's kind of funny. You can tell we live in a, a, a different world than what we used to. We used to never find stuff like this in cars, and now every one of these cars has had masks in it somewhere, under the seats, in the glove box, wherever. I found the locking lug nut remover, and last but not least, I found one of these doohickeys. In order for me to use a microphone on my iPhone, I have to have one of those adapters right there. Plus, you have to have one of these special cords. A normal mic cord won't work on a phone, so this will be handy for me. Although, the new iPhones coming out have USB-C on them instead of the uh, lightning, so stuff like that won't do me good much longer. And I found a nickel on the floor, but other than that, I didn't find anything else in this car. And by the way, that's not a phone that I found in here. That is actually my phone laying there, so... <laughs> Didn't want you to think I found something really cool and forgot to mention it. Next up, we've got a Cadillac. Let's see if there's anything good in here. Bunch of matches and lighters. Nothing I need. Uh, anything in the glove? Oh, there's something back there. What do we got? Oh, some sunglasses? There we go. What else we got? Nothing else good in there, but we got some sunglasses at least. There we go. What do you guys think? They look good on me? <laughs> I don't like them at all. They make everything look really weird. Everything looks really uh, aqua colored. These are some weird glasses. I mean, just, I, I don't know. I don't know how you would wear these. What brand are these? X-Force? Hmm. This is what they make everything look like. Why would, why would you want to do that? I mean, that's what everything looks like, really. This is what the glasses make everything look like. That's, that's just trippy to me. I don't know. Moving on, let's check the center console. Okay, so I opened up the center console and the guy's ID is laying in the center console, so I can't show you that. I got that out of there, let's see what else is in here. Bunch of peppermints, some Pepto-Bismol, some more matches, and a whole bunch of CDs. Let's see if these are any better than last time. We got Mercy Me, Mercy Me, Micah Tyler, Micah Tyler, Micah Tyler, and how do you say that name, Deke? I've never seen that name before. Deke and Joy Silverman. Okay, so I've heard Mercy Me, so I know what those are, but I have no clue who Micah Tyler or Deke and Joy Silverman is. Okay, moving on. Let's see if there's anything else in here. Check the top. Oh, dollar bill. We just found some money. Anything else? More matches and another one of these doohickeys. Cool, cool, cool. We're in the green money now. I wish it was a hundred dollar bill, but I'll take it. Let's check out the minivan. Oh, I see money on the floor already. Yeah, bunches of, looks like, nickels and pennies, and one dime and one quarter. I'll gather all that up, but beyond that, I really don't see much in here, but I'll look around a little bit better. That was all we found in there. Let's go on to this one here. Now, this one here, even if there's nothing good inside it, these Monteros have started to get somewhat popular. And so I know there's a lot of value in parts on these things. This one here is really rough. It's not that rusty, but it's just beat up on every single body panel. But it's got lots of good plastic parts. The headlights are good. 
I know dash parts in these sell good too. So yeah, there's a lot of money in parts here. What do we got here? A stack of license plates? Well, they're already off, so we'll go ahead and hang on to those. It looks pretty cleaned out just by looking at it. So I'm thinking this is one we probably bought from somebody. Yeah, the keys are in it, so I doubt it was abandoned. So I doubt there's anything good in it. I'll look around a little bit better, but uh, I don't expect to find a whole lot in here, but I'm definitely glad to have this one. Like I say, lots of good parts here. Even if a guy just does a hack and slash job and just grabs the few easy parts out of the dash, instrument clusters, all the gauges, temperature controls, headlights, turn signals, just, just easy stuff. There's a good chunk of money right here and they can scrap the rest of it. Up next, we've got an early Escalade. You don't see the early ones like this very often. Up in here, oh, it looks like we got some jumper cables. We'll grab those out here in a second. See if there's anything else in here. We'll see if there's anything good in here. Oh, we might have something here. Okay, so bad news on this cuff card is it did still have a balance on it. However, this company is out of business and these stores no longer exist. So that is basically trash. The only somewhat interesting thing I found in this vehicle is there's some change over there on the floor, a quarter and a couple of pennies. And then it's got the original owner's manual in it. I looked through it, there's no money. However, I did look this one up online. Usually I don't save owner's manuals just because they're not worth very much money. But this in here is actually selling for about 30 bucks for a set like this. So I'm gonna go ahead and hang on to this one. I just glanced in this door pocket over here and I think I see a Mexican coin of some sort. Not sure what it is, probably nothing good. 2012, yeah. Nothing good, but just kind of interesting. You don't find those in Kansas that often. I found some paperwork that was actually from Mexico, so I'm guessing they went back and forth fairly frequently. Moving on, we've got a Chevy. Well, this is a GMC, GMC Canyon. I thought it was a Colorado, but this is a Canyon. Once again, mask. I know for a fact this is one that my dad actually bought from somebody. It wasn't abandoned, so I doubt we're gonna find much good, but we'll look around just in case. 2004 Canyon. I'll look this owner's manual up, see if it's worth anything. If it is, I'll save it. Otherwise, it'll go back in the glove box. Oh, we got a, what is this one? Yeah, it looks like it's still in good shape, so I guess we'll hang on to that. No money in it, but this set of stuff here, if it was still in the cover, it'd be worth more, but just like it is, it's probably about 20, 25 bucks. So I guess we'll go ahead and hang on to it. Moving on down the line, looks like somebody drove out into a cornfield. Somebody had a real bad day out in the field. There's even corn stalks and whatnot inside the car, so I bet they went for a wild ride. That might be Milo. I can't tell if that's corn or Milo. Let's see if there's anything good in it, though. Uh, a bunch of paperwork back here, so I'll go through that real quick, see if there's anything good, let you guys know. Nope, nothing good, just junk mail. I do see some money up here, it looks like. It's like a, a dime and a penny. One more penny. Let's check in here. Nope. What is going on? Another recipe? Are you kidding me right now? This is the second recipe I've found in cars today. I never find recipes, and here we are, two cars in one day with recipes in them. Okay, I see, I got too excited. I got way ahead of myself. That's not a recipe, that's just a grocery list, but, but still, it's just interesting. And a couple more pennies. Not finding much in this car here. I'm gonna be really careful looking up here in the front because there's all these shards of windshield glass. I don't mind the side glass, but the windshield glass is what'll get you good. There's nothing good in the front, but I was checking back here in the door and there's a pair of safety glasses. I'm just gonna leave those there. But uh, looks like a, a bow tie. So let's try that on real quick. I guess next we'll move on to the Jaguar. We'll see if there's anything good in there. Now this one here, I know once again, that this was not abandoned. This is one my dad bought, so I doubt there's anything good, but it never hurts to look. Nothing there, nothing there. Now this car looks pretty clean inside, so I'm guessing there's nothing good. And I'm guessing there's no converters on it either, judging by the mufflers laying in the back seat. Let's move on to this one here. We got a radio. anything good bunches and bunches of trash that's too bad somebody did something to that striker looks like it's brand new i'm always needing those oh hey there we go found a phone it's completely smashed but uh i'll take it what is it a motorola so nothing good but you know it's just kind of fun to find phones and cars i doubt this one's ever going to turn back on usually when i find phones i take them home see if they'll turn on 
and I've had a few that would still turn on when I charged them up, but they were always locked and I could never get into them, and they never had emergency contacts, so I could never contact whoever they belonged to. This one here's a real high quality one. It's uh, already falling apart in my hands. Not really seeing anything else good in here. Another pair of glasses. These have definitely seen better today. They must have liked to run over stuff because <laughs> the phone was run over and the glasses have been run over. But, uh, oh, those are Ray-Bans. There you go. Some real nice Ray-Bans for you. Dodge Dakota. That door is locked. I don't know if we can get in the other side or not, but just looking in it, I don't see anything in there, but I'll try to get in the other side. There we go. This thing looks pretty cleaned out. Of course, I say that, and there's something right there. What do we got? Oh, a flashlight that looks like a shotgun shell. That's kind of neat. Does it work? Yeah, it works. What else we got? A pair of gloves. Some trash. And another owner's manual. This in here is old enough. I doubt it's worth anything, but I will look it up just to see. Yeah, it's got pages ripped out of it and everything, so we're not going to mess with that one there. But I guess at least we found a unique flashlight. I'll dig around a little bit more, but I think that's about it. What is this, a Nissan? Nissan Sentra? Something like that. We'll check it out. See, this one's got a trunk pull on it, so we can check the trunk. We'll just do that first. I think the only ones I haven't been able to check the trunk on so far is this Hyundai, and I think that very first or second car, that Taurus. Oh, that's a stiff one. Just seats. That's kind of random. Oh, I see. Somebody took the back seat out of this car. Oh, I, I know where this car came from. My dad bought this car from a uh, a car lot. Somebody had traded it in or something like that, and so they had started to work on it. They started to vacuum it out and detail it and all that good stuff, and then they found out it's got major issues. So they decided not to sell it. So it's just scrap. Sold it to us. So I'm sure it's completely devoid of anything good. Yeah, there's nothing good in here. What did that say? iPod. Now that's a blast from the past. I think we have four cars left. That real loud noise you guys hear, that real loud annoying noise, those are called cicadas. And this time of year here in Kansas, they're terrible. But there's not much you can do about them. Oh, there's a penny right there. I'll get that here in a second. I'm going to check the rest of the floor. And there's a dime right there. See, I'm going to rip the seat out real quick. There's quite a bit of money in here. I see quarters, nickels, dimes, pennies, you name it. It's all in here. I don't see any cash money, though, and I don't see any jewelry. But uh, here's something. I don't know what this is. Majora's Mask. Oh, a 3DS? <laughs> That's interesting. We found a Game Boy Advance cartridge and a 3DS cartridge. Okay, so I'm going to gather all this up, and then we'll check the front seat. Found about $1.50 in there. There was actually some more, but it was just really, really corroded and nasty. There was a couple quarters that were really bad. I threw them out on the ground. Drive over them for a little while, and they'll be good to go. There's some more dimes in there. A couple pennies. Here's a cord. What's it? Another micro USB. I don't need that many, so I may throw some of those back in the junk. I dug through all that paperwork thinking I'd find something good, and all I found was two lame pennies. Let's check out this Pontiac. There's some toilet paper, some wipes, some off. I bet they like to go camping. Uh, a few pennies it looks like, and a hairbrush. That one penny looks kind of old. Is it a wheat penny? No, it's just a 1970. It is a copper penny, 1973. 19, I think 82. I think 82 and older are copper. 83 and newer are zinc. And actually, I think copper pennies are worth more for copper for scrap than they are for pennies. Anything good back here? Looks like the seat's already been popped. Yeah, it's cleaned out. Somebody already pretty well went through this one. We've just got an Oldsmobile and a Ford truck, and then I'm gonna go through and pop open some of these trunks. This is an oldie right here, an oldie but a goldie. There's the ignition key. I don't see the trunk key though, so I'll have to rip the trunk open. When I was a kid, these are the type of cars I grew up crushing, the stuff out of the 70s and 80s. What year is this one? 1988, yeah. See, when I was a kid, this was actually a pretty late model car. 
So actually we probably didn't crush these. These are probably more when I was getting in my teenage years is when we started crushing these all the time. Imagine if you will, a time when you actually had to write down directions to where you were going and you couldn't just look it up on Google. And last but not least, a Ford short bed pickup. I really don't see anything in here that looks interesting. No, it looks like nothing good. Just checking the owner manual for money. But once again, nothing good. And now the moment of truth. Let's see what we got in here. Oh, there we go. The old beads. Seat cover. Some motor oil, we'll save that. Nothing good. Whole bunch of pink bandanas or some maybe that's something else. I don't know what that is. A dog's leash. You know, I really don't see anything good in here. I honestly expected to find something at least. But I guess a brand new thing of oil anymore, this stuff's getting expensive, so I guess that's something. Next up we've got this Hyundai. Got something up here. I think it's empty. Yeah, I don't know what was in there, but whatever it was is gone now. Yeah, nothing. Oh, there's another license plate. I'll take that at least. So, not much good in there. Let's go check this Impala. Some jumper cables I can save for scrap copper. And I'll check the antifreeze, see if it's really antifreeze or if it's just water. Man, that's kind of a bummer. Didn't really find anything good in the trunks this time. I got one more car to check, but I gotta dig it out. And now the very last car. Let's see if there's anything good in this trunk. Oh, there we go. Finally something good in the trunk. I knew we'd find something eventually. Looks like one of them may or may not be any good, but we got at least one good one in here. Looks like we also have some tools in here. So that's neat. A set of pin punches. Another cord. 5 8 wrench. I don't know what this is. Can't quite figure it out. What do we got here? Oh, a set of big, big sockets. Huh. Oil filter socket set. That's interesting. So yeah, I'll definitely get that out of there. We got an amp and two speakers. Not bad, not bad. Anything else good? I don't really see anything else good in here, but yeah, definitely going to get that out. I take that back. I found one more thing. Let's see if there's anything in here. Oh, the joys of holding the camera with one hand and working with the other. There we go. There we go. That's pretty cool. Ugly stick that all comes apart, fits in this bag. That's kind of a nifty little setup there. I don't know if that reel's any good. A Shakespeare, it might be a decent reel, just for what it is. I don't know if not, I could always swap the reel out, but I'm definitely gonna keep that. I can use that. Nice little travel set, I can throw that in the back of my truck, and anytime I feel like going fishing, I can go fishing. All right, it's time to go over the final results. Obviously, we just found this. I actually already have this sold. Told a guy 50 bucks for both speakers, the box, and the amp. That's pretty cheap. The amp is like 80 bucks new by itself. I think this speaker retails at 30 bucks. Obviously, I don't know what that one's worth. It looks like it has some damage, but I'm sure new it was around 30 bucks, and then whatever the box was. So anyway, that's about third price, considering they're used, and that one may or may not be good. Here's the fishing pole and the lures and all that. The lures, I went through them. They're kind of rough. There's a couple good ones in there, a couple spoons, but uh, everything else I'll probably throw away. But definitely going to keep the fishing pole. The reel is in good condition. I looked it up, and just the fishing pole and reel combo at Cabela's is, I think, $68 is what it costs for this collapsible one. It's not really collapsible, whatever you want to call it, where it comes apart in four pieces. But it's got a couple nice little cases in it that I can put my own lures in. Definitely going to keep that in the back seat of the truck. I've got these tools here. I have no use for these tools. I might hang on to these. These others I'll probably just sell. Got these license plates. I'll put those in a pile with some more. Got the little shotgun flashlight. Got my, my lunch money right here. Got the squirtle, holographic squirtle. I got these CDs here. I figured, you know, that music, I don't I don't usually listen to music anyway, but I figured I'll give them away, see if somebody wants them. Got the oil, got all the cords, got the owner's manuals, got the smashed and broken phone, got all the money. All together, there's roughly $5 there, give or take. There's probably a little bit more than that there, but some of that money is not gonna be usable. What I do with the money when it's not clean enough to take to the bank is I just throw it on the ground, drive over it for a while, and then it is clean enough to pick back up. I know you can soak it in vinegar or different things, but that, that's just too much. I'm not going to put that much effort into it. It's not worth it to me. Throw it on the ground. When I find it again later, I'll be excited a second time. I've got the locking lug nut remover. I've got the little Mexican coin here. I've got the single AirPod. Never did find the other one. Guitar pick. 
little uh, air pressure gauge, a little bit of jewelry, nothing good though. Found a couple games. I looked this one up here, and if it works, they bring like 15, 20 bucks on eBay. I'm sure this one's something similar to that. Obviously, I don't know if they work or not. At first, I was like, oh, I'll just give them away to some kid, and he can see if they work. But then I got to thinking, that there's no kids out there that play Game Boy Advances. <laughs> People my age collect and play Game Boy Advances. So more than likely, what I'll do with those is I still have that idea of making a junkyard treasure jars. So probably what I'll do is I still have that idea in my head of making junkyard treasure jars of miscellaneous stuff that I find in the cars. So I'll probably just add those to a jar. I've got these super fancy glasses that I absolutely hate. I've got this bow tie and probably the most useful of everything I found besides the fishing pole is this right here and actually that can go in my backpack with the fishing pole. That way I can go out fishing and I don't have to worry about anything. So that's everything. My lunch hour is just about over so I'm going to drive the truck in here get all this stuff gathered up and with that guys I'm going to let y'all go. I hope you guys enjoy this one. Found some pretty interesting stuff. Found some pretty silly stuff. You just never know what you're going to find in the cars. I don't know when my next treasure hunt's going to be but stay tuned. I do all sorts of stuff out here at the junkyard. I'll let y'all go. I hope you have an absolutely fantastic rest of your day and remember to get out there and find an adventure we'll see you on the next one